Hi, I'm Holly Black. I tell lies for a living. <laughs> In fantasy, even when the fantastical is really dangerous, there is still something wondrous about it. One of my earliest experiences with fairy folklore was a fairies by Brian Fred and Ellen Lee. It's the reason that I've always thought of fairies as not being sort of diminutive and sweet, but rather being <laughs> these really scary, beautiful uh, beings. And it's the thing that set me off uh, to read more folklore. It is an ecosystem. It's, you know, trolls and goblins and nixies and pixies and sprites, shagfoles, will-o'-wisps. Like, it feels really magical. When I first was asked to do this Maleficent novel, you know, one of the reasons that I thought that I would really love to do this is because the Maleficent world really acknowledges that, you know, the people who live on the moors, the folk of the moors, are fairies. And so it felt like a, you know, a space where I really um, could bring something. Good morning. I'm going to breakfast with my editor and we're going to meet the publisher and we're going to celebrate <laughs> the fact that Maleficent is almost here. That I have the finished coffee. Yay! <laughs> it's so good! It meant so much to see the finished book for the first time and to hold it in my hands um, before I went to the show. As a writer, you spend a lot of time at home, you know, working on things, and there are little bit like messages you put in a bottle and you send out to sea. And so getting to go to New York Comic Con, you get to actually meet people who are uh, receiving those messages. Hi! Hey. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much. Fantastic. Oh, I'm so glad it was so much fun to write. <laughs> Her books are dark and mysterious and like beautiful. I feel like you're in the world. Like, I love it, and you feel a connection instantly when you read her books. And it's believable to me. I don't like to read the frilly happy stuff. I'm not your regular book club girl. <laughs> I love your hair. I love yours. <laughs> when I you know, sit down to do signings, I think a lot about uh, you know the times that I've been the fan coming to a signing. And I, I do think about that. I think about, like, well, what is the moment of connection? Like, that's the thing you want. So um, it was a really exciting morning. And then I did an interview. You know, when you're writing and you're meeting your own readers who liked your first book, it's very different than meeting people who are already huge fans of Maleficent, and they're like, did you do a good job with our queen? Right. Like, our you know queen. what I mean? Right. And uh, and so uh, it's it was wonderful to meet everybody. Everybody's super nice. Uh, they haven't read it yet. <laughs> so on the other side, I hope they're still nice. <laughs> It's interesting because it is Maleficent and I feel like Holly's the perfect person to dive into like a Maleficent story. Getting it from Holly's point of view and everything that she has done with previous characters, you really get to know them one-on-one -on -one, and I feel like that'll be a lot more exciting and I can't wait for that. I'm just yeah. excited to I mean, if somebody's gonna write a Maleficent story, Holly Black. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for coming out today for Not Your Mother's Tinkerbell. What I love about most fairy stories is the moment that the very strange hits up against the normal. When I was a kid, I thought of myself as kind of a weirdo. I was a big fantasy, loving kid. I was a big Dungeons and Dragons player, and I was really, really shy. And one of the great surprises was seeing that so many people are really interested in fantasy and interested in stuff that I thought they thought was weird. So to write for yourself, for your reader self, like that's the book that other people will connect with too.